Well, I'm going to do a tour of my toolbox and probably a shop tour here. Well, so on the top, got some fluid stuff. Always use that. Gloves because it's winter. Some tape. This here is actually two containers that I put together. It's got a bunch of magnets in it, so it's like a magnet bowl thing that I made. I also got a couple of these magnets because they're just good to keep stuff in order. Some wire brushes and stuff to go in the drill and the die grinder. Tape measure, some picks, razor knife, writing stuff. This is the other drawer. It's got some miscellaneous drill bit things. This is a box of toothpicks for carb cleaning. Some little driver stuff. This is feeler gauges, spark plug, gap. Uh, thread size thing and a uh, battery post terminal cleaner. Some easy outs, some twisty ties for carb cleaning. Always use that stuff. Screwdrivers. Got lots of these bits. I got all kinds of them because I use them all the time. Because they are a lot harder so you don't round over screws and stuff as easy as you would if a regular screwdriver. Just got a nice set of Craftsman screwdrivers. These are some cheapies, but I keep them around because I know you're not supposed to, but I use them as pry bars quite often. This is the player's drawer. I love channel lock players. These are Craftsman ones. Gotta have vice grips. These big things, and then the needle nose vice grips are the most used and vice grips that you just gotta have. These come in real handy too. Especially if you round something over, it works real well to grab stuff with them. But I got some snap ring players. They're just cheap ones, but these are the best that we got. My dad's are a lot worse. His, they're like all the ends on them tend to bend and stuff. These ones don't bend, so they may be cheap, but they definitely get the trick done. Some hammers, pry bars. Majority of the hammers, big ones are there. On to the socket drawer. These are all Craftsman's. I know there's people out there that say Craftsman is just a bunch of junk. I have yet to break a Craftsman tool and I use them a lot. And that's what my dad used all the time for his 21s, 20 some odd years of farming. And he never broke, well, hardly broke any Craftsman tools. He never broke a Craftsman wrench or a cheap off brand wrench either, for that fact. But he broke only a couple Craftsman sockets, and that's because of using regular sockets on an impact. These are all Craftsman wrenches. Nut driver sets, those work real nice for doing stuff on small engine. Adjustable wrench, some other wrenches. These are some Craftsman box ends. X keys. Craftsman midget wrenches, they just came in a set with my other wrenches and I've yet to use them but you never know they could come in handy. This is a precision screwdriver set. Punch and chisels, files, a couple more little pry bars. Just a drawer of kind of miscellaneous stuff that doesn't fit in other spots. These here are actually SK X bits, and there's some metric ones in there. Uh, this is a snap on speed wrench, torque wrench is back there, another torque wrench. Pop rivet gun. This is a Craftsman speed wrench. Combination square. Work really great for laying out stuff on metal. This is a dial caliper. My air tool drawer. Air ratchet. Gotta have it. This is a cutoff thing. I got the guard on it right now. Sometimes I don't because it gets in the way. 
Impact, Chicago Pneumatic, they make great air tools. Die grinder, blowgun, different extensions, couple long arms. I don't have metric impact sockets. That's something I'm going to invest in here. So these are just all standards. Then down here, there's actually a torch there I got for my grandpa. Some spark plugs. I keep old spark plugs because sometimes they work good that you take everything out of them, you knock the insides out, and you can actually take and hook up an air thing to these, and you can test for where the air is leaking out, so like you could tell if the piston rings are shot on an engine. This is a Craftsman multimeter. Works really nice. These 3M stripper wheel discs, they work real great in a die grinder. Even if they say you're not supposed to use them in there because it spins too fast. It's an SK three quarter inch standard socket set. These are beautiful tools. My dad bought these for working on that combine. This is a Clark HD Plus toolbox. When I bought the toolbox, I didn't buy anything like a Craftsman because Craftsman didn't have their new style of boxes yet. And then they would always get caught and they were just seem really cheap and chintzy. This one works really nice. The drawers lock shut good. So that's the one thing to check when you're buying a toolbox. Make sure the drawers lock real good so they don't come sliding open when you're using it.